What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty juice and special juice. I'm Miss Spirit God host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Aries. Please understand this will not apply to every single Aries, as every single Aries is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Aries energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you. So I will be talking to you guys with a few of my tarot decks, including the one of my own. I created this deck myself. I drew this and then had somebody to just like graphically design it. It's still painted. Yeah. Okay. So for more information, everything will be in the description box below without further ado. Aries, I'm talking to you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video, okay? And if this is so drop a tip in my cash app and let me know. Now, I literally started you all's video and then I had to start it over. And so I didn't want to lose the message because I really felt like this message was supposed to be there, but my computer I cut off, so I had to restart over. Now, the first card that I got for you all was Pathway. And what I may mention too is that you may be dealing with an Aquarius. And I say that because Aquarius picked this card a pathway in their reading. So you might be involved with an Aquarius in some way, form or fashion, not sure. Um, but it's a new pathway. It's a new journey. It's a new way towards something. And then we got the distant horizon card. This is from the Kip, the Kipper deck. So this is travel. This is movement. This is, I, I feel like you all want to go in the woods and maybe you all want to, um, like hike or maybe you want to travel somewhere so that you can hike or you know what I'm saying something something like that and then I got the not today so this says not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call or person boundaries still angry so I feel like you were really really angry about something so you went off course or not that you went off course but you were on a course and you were upset about it. So you just dipped to another course. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody might have frustrated you so bad that you were just like, not fucking today. And you're still upset. You're still angry. You're still hurt about something. You're holding on to something. But I feel like you're taking a new route in the process. Whoever, who, who pissed you off? I feel like maybe it was the Aquarius that pissed you off. Maybe it was the Aquarius that pissed you off. Maybe the Aquarius, I feel like maybe the Aquarius yelled. Or maybe if it's not an Aquarius, maybe somebody yelled at you and you were just like, I'm not trying to hear that. I like you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, once a day. Oh, so maybe this is also that person. This person is somebody that you might be arguing with. They might be new. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I feel like this might be somebody you know. Okay, take, look, take action. Spirit is telling you to take action on this situation. This might be a situation that you really need to be a part of. You might be seeing 414, you might be seeing a lot of fours or a lot of ones, but whatever it is, take action on it. You may, you may look, I like you. Somebody want to go somewhere with you. Somebody want to travel somewhere with you, Aries. And y'all love being outside, so this would work perfectly. But whoever this is, is like, I like you. Like, I like you. <laughs> I'm getting that kind of energy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Let's get a lunar oracle card real quick. Take action. I feel like, yeah, you need to with this person. Have confidence that you can make progress. Have confidence that you can make progress. Yeah, go ahead, Aries. You all lead the zodiac sign. So it's like, you all can't not just, you know what I'm saying? Bottom of the deck. Yeah, bloodshot red. I feel like maybe you made a bad decision on something. Um, I feel like maybe you're smoking a lot. Look at that. Eyes are bloodshot red. This is being judged. Somebody seeing you and judging you based off of how your eyes look. 
So I feel like with this being in the reverse, um, maybe you didn't make a good decision or maybe you feel like you didn't make a good decision. Maybe you made a bad decision when you were high or when you were drunk, Aries. I feel like you were high or you were drunk and you made a bad decision. It's kind of like doing something that you wouldn't have done if you were sober, maybe. Like, I wouldn't have did that if I was sober, but because I was drunk, I just kind of lost myself. Yeah, Ace of Wands. I feel like you were sexually active with someone and you knew it was the bad, it was a bad decision. And it was like, you didn't really think about it until afterwards. Like, I feel like you were just kind of hooked. Yeah, and then look at that. I said smoking a lot and we got the uh, Ace, of, Ace of Wands in reverse. This is the big hookah. I drew these, by the way, and created the cards. But yeah, I feel like you made a bad decision and so something had to come to a stop or maybe i feel like you were hooked to something yeah page of swords maybe you know better now yeah i feel like now it's time to think about what you did i'm talking to a child it's kind of like talking to a child like after a parent found out, maybe a kid did something at school and then a the parent went to the school to pick up the kid and then the teacher told them and it's like, um, go st or maybe you did something and then the teacher was just like, go sit in the corner and think about what you did. I feel like you just, you made the wrong choice or you decided wrong. And maybe you're no longer passionate about it. Maybe you're no longer hooked to it. Now that you have time to think. Look, OG Emperor. This is the freshener. Okay, this is that, this is that black ice or that new car scent. This is an emperor. Aries, you popping up in your own reading. Or you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with another Aries. I seriously doubt that. But um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe there's somebody else. Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're here in a boss-like energy. Did you do something to this boss or did somebody do something to you? I feel like whoever this Aries is, it's either you or someone else. They didn't really stop to think about what they were doing. And I feel like it's like after something happened, now you're thinking about it. It's like, I, I feel like I really shouldn't have done that bottom of the deck yeah i feel like you did something and maybe somebody left you out in the cold maybe it was a situation where you you made the wrong decision and now you feel like you've lost a lot or maybe you were left out in the cold because of it i feel like you made a, you made the wrong decision about something and now either you feel left out in the cold or whoever you did something to feels left out in the cold See, a stuck energy, eight of swords in reverse. I feel like maybe you're trying to come out of that. Unfair give and take. So there, either you were unfair to someone or someone was unfair to you. And I feel like it's more you that were probably, un well, somebody was unfair to you, but it's like you knew what they were doing. And you allowed this person to, to take advantage. 
And now that you're left out in the cold, you're trying to get out of it. But I feel like you keep going back to this person. Aries, y'all just do that. Just keep, stop leaving the person. Just stay with them and be fucking miserable. Stop going back and forth. Like Aries people do this. Almost every Aries that I know does this. You get with somebody that you know is not good for you, and then you leave them just to turn around, talk to somebody else, leave them, turn around and talk to somebody else, leave them and turn around and talk to that same person that you should have left two persons ago. And then you be trying to figure out, well, why is everything else unfair? Because you're not supposed to be dealing with this person. You're not supposed to deal with them. You can't have oh, well, it's just sex, or we just friends, or I'm not talking to you, I'm just texting. Like, you have to let these people go, or else it's always going to be an unfair situation. It's never going to be fair to you. And with that decision-making card up there, Aries, you all, all, if I could bank on it, I'd be a millionaire. You all almost always go back every single fucking time. Almost every single fucking time, you almost always go back. Look, but somebody feel good about it. Whoever is doing this feel good about it. Somebody feel left out in the cold and somebody feel good about it. Somebody is like, I'm okay with this. <sighs> somebody is like, I'm very much okay with this. See? Not using your intuition. This person is hurting you intentionally. Look at it. Look it. And here you go. So high that you're not listening to your intuition. Look at that. And whoever you're dealing with is just, they loving it. They loving it. Keep staying hurt. Keep uh, not using your intuition. Keep not speaking up. Keep it a secret. Who the fuck cares? Listen, all right, Aries. All right, Aries. I was having a really, really good reading until until this because I want so much better for y'all, but y'all don't want better for yourself. If you don't, you better. 